The knives you see before you are part of uh, Buck's Pro Vantage line. All right, the, the top knife is the Buck Pro Vantage in S30V. Uh, that's their uh, older model, which is still available. It runs, uh, it's about $60 right now. All right, and below that is the new knife, uh, the Buck Pro Force Vantage. All right, and that is also S30V. All right, and this is new. It just came out uh, this month or last month. I actually recommend the Buck Pro Vantage a lot of times as an EDC blade that means everyday carry and you know obviously that's just my opinion but when people ask it you know they want to know what's a good basic everyday carry knife right and if you want a short summary on why I recommend it I'll tell you um, the price is very reasonable sixty dollars s30v is a nice steal for that price uh, the opening uh, is smooth and easy uh, the blade length of 3.1 inches is a pretty convenient uh, length to carry. It's, it's not overly bulky. Uh, the hollow grind, I feel, is the best, gr the best type of grind as far as just light utility, which is what a folding, you know, if, if you were going to do heavy work, you'd probably carry a small fixed blade instead, all right? And, you know, another good thing is that buck, these buck knives are made in the USA. People always request that. Well, there you go. It's fairly lightweight. The older model is exactly four ounces, which a lot of people uh, seem to like to use as kind of a basic number. All right, so in a nutshell, that's those are the five or six reasons why I feel this makes a good, nice, basic uh, starter EDC knife. Uh, the initial sharpness is fairly high. It's not like it's not an absolute razor, right? but um, it, it is fairly high. All right, now the blade itself you see there, it is a fairly wide drop point. It does have a nice stone wash finish. You see the stone wash finish there. It is a very high hollow grind, right? and it does have an opening slot right there. It has a thumb ramp with some texturing on it, and it has a swedge, swedge right there. It is a liner lock mechanism. Right now, you see the pocket clip. It is a low rider pocket clip, and the, the pocket clip is stone washed also. See, it is stone washed. Now it comes set up for right side tip up carry. All right, you see that there can be adjusted for left side. Buck logo there. The handle scales are uh, machined uh, 3D G10 uh, in desert tan. It also comes in uh, military olive drab color. All right, and this is also available in a combo edge. Uh, the opening facility is a, f a f index flipper. It comes, uh, the pivot comes very tight, right? So you'll either have to flick your wrist hard or just loosen the pivot if you prefer. Can also be opened using, using the opening slot. If you're worried, you don't want to open it fast, you might scare just people that are around. You can open it, uh, you know, slowly and surely uh, using, the, using the opening slot. Okay. And you see this is mostly closed construction with a textured a textured backspacer right there, which is also stone washed. Right? And it does have full steel liners. Uh, even the steel liners are stone washed. All right, so that's a, a nice touch. All right, now uh, the lockup. Uh, the lockup is very solid. It does does not move at all. There's there's no blade play on the one I uh, the one I purchased anyway. Rock solid lockup. 
it by all appearances it, it has very high quality uh, the texture on the uh, CNC uh, G10 handle scales nice texture gives gives you a lot of grip a lot of purchase so overall uh, I, I feel it's, it's a very high quality folding blade now Buck is marketing uh, this new uh, Vantage Pro Force folder as a folder mainly for military or police. Uh, they're calling it a tactical folder and you know you might be wondering well okay what are the differences between this Pro Force and uh, the older uh, Pro Vantage? Well I'm gonna tell you the main differences right now. Alright here you see you know the tactical model and the older civilian model. Uh, the first difference is the open pillar construction versus the metal backspacer. This is about four ounces. This is 4.6 ounces. One reason is because of that uh, back, backspacer which just makes the knife physically stronger, okay? It's, it's meant to be used and abused more. The second major difference, the texturing. This has basically smooth handles with a few lines to add a little grip but there's no there's no texturing and look at all the texturing on the handle here much much better grip um, it even has the texturing on the backspacer right it even has it on the flipper whereas this has a completely smooth flipper right now uh, and if you look at the the thumb ramp this is completely smooth no texture at all but they've even added a little bit on the thumb ramp for this right so you know it's clear that they're trying to make this um, much more grippy you know in case you're uh, under duress under stress you're not going to drop it so I understand where they're going with that another main difference is the blade finish this has basically a, a highly reflective satin finish Right, whereas this has a less reflective stone wash finish. All right, so they're basically this is just more low pro low profile. Okay, it's not going to give you away if, if you're in some you know military situation where you have to be low profile. Uh, they gave you the uh, finish to do it with. All right, and of course the most obvious change is that uh, this comes in either the desert the desert color pattern or the olive drab color pattern so this basically comes in you know military colors alright so in summary this comes in military colors it has a low profile finish they've added texturing to the thumb ramp the backspacer the scales and even the flipper uh, they've added a backspacer it's they've added about 0.6 ounces of more material so it's just uh, more heavy heavily built more heavy duty uh, than their older model all right so those are the main differences now it's up to you whether you think those those four changes are uh, are worth you know the higher price uh, I like all the changes I'm not going to complain about getting a better grip I think the uh, I think the stone wash looks very attractive. So overall, I, I like the blade. All right, so there you go. You know, I personally I wouldn't necessarily call this like uh, a tactical blade. I would simply call it a deluxe version or maybe an upgraded version. It's basically it's a Buck Pro Vantage folder with a very nice uh, stone wash finish added um, and it's more of a heavy duty version of that knife um, it's got 0.6 more ounces of uh, you know structural material to make it stronger so it has all the advantages and then some added features that I think are pretty good added features you know better grip nicer finish uh, stronger construction uh, Overall, you know, I don't think you have to be an army guy or anything to necessarily like this blade. I think it's just, I would just call it the Buck Pro Vantage Deluxe model. Alright, and the S30V, that's a great steal. So overall, you know, 
easy deployment. You know, you can deploy it quickly or you can deploy it, deploy it quietly. Um, but, you know, solid lockup, high initial sharpness, made in the USA. There's just so many things to like about this blade. Perfect little convenient size. So overall, yes, I would highly, highly recommend either of these for everyday carry blades. You know, these are not fighters. These are, are short folders. These are, you know, not meant for fighting, but they are meant uh, to give you a lot of everyday utility, um, which, you know, even soldiers just need an everyday utility blade. So yeah, highly recommended. I hope you enjoyed the uh, initial review as well as the comparison of between the different models, different features. All right, stay tuned for many more. I'm out of here, dudes. Peace out.